The Bridgewater College football team upset number 18 Thomas Moore on the road Saturday to improve to 2-0 in the season. Quarterback Brendan Metary rushed for 78 yards and two TDs, including numerous key third and fourth down conversions. He scrambled twice on third and long on Bridgewater's second drive of the day, the second one down to the one yard line. Metary would then punch it in for the game's opening score, and Malavai Barker carried in the two point conversion to stretch the early lead to eight to nothing. The Eagles forced a three and out after their opening score and went right down the field again, taking a 15-0 lead on Metairie's 23-yard touchdown pass to Rayvon Johnson. Thomas Moore got on the board with 9.38 left in the second quarter as Javier Pitts broke a 73-yard rush off the right tackle. Penalties negated several big plays for the hosts in that period, including quarterback Brendan Kuntz's 57-yard TD scramble that was called off for a block in the back. With four minutes left in the third, Bridgewater could have pinned Thomas Moore on the one-yard line following a running into the kicker flag on a punt, but the Eagles went for it on fourth and one and converted on Metairie's rollout pass to Connor Clefman. That drive ended with a Metairie TD dive and a 25-14 Bridgewater lead heading into the fourth. The Saints didn't go easily, cutting the deficit to 25-20 in the fourth quarter with a one-yard Luke Zajac touchdown in a conversion that ultimately failed on the third try following penalties by both teams. Late in the game, the Eagles forced a kick on a goal-to-go situation to cling to a 25-23 advantage. And the kick is good. Metairie appeared to end the game with a first down completion to Rayvon Johnson in the final minutes, but the play was called back for an illegal man downfield. Thomas Moore drove into Bridgewater territory with no timeouts, leading to a 52-yard attempt from all-conference kicker Cole Mathias that hung up just enough to fall short of the crossbar. Now guys, I want to say this, hey, one, okay, congratulations. That was a gutsy effort. That was a gutsy effort. Now understand this too, okay? You should walk off this field, you know, just see if you can channel that inner feeling here, okay? I mean, see if you can channel that inner feeling and that field goal fell short, okay? And then what I'm going to, because what I got to ask you, is the deal is, do you, will you sacrifice to do it again? Dig deep enough to do it again. Will you dig deep enough to do it again? All right? Let's get it, baby. guys, because here's the deal. I want to thank you. You know, hey, I need my family to be here. I mean, I always love my team, but I like my children, okay? <laughs> love you all the time, okay? But the times I'm proud of you, okay? Those are really special. Okay, I'm proud of you today. I'm proud of you today, all right? You made me a proud man here today, guys. Hey, now, here's the thing. Remember now, we're going to get you Shake hands, we're going to get back on that bus. And guys, we owe somebody one next week. I just, the line just blocked. They just gave it everything. The whole team just... Even when I was struggling, they just trusted me to still make a play and just continuously over and over again, they just kept trusting me and they kept working their, their butts off and, and it's, it's to them. And they just worked so hard and that's, this is what we came here to do and we did it. So. And Coach talked about having to steal possessions. You, know, you guys scored. You scored yourself after you guys faked a punt to extend the possession. Then you went for two to steal another point. Mm -hmm. You know, just, was, was that aggressiveness you know, important for you guys come out today? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. We had to, definitely had to come out and let them know that we're here to play. It's not, we're not here to just come out here, take an eight-hour bus ride, and, and go home like upset because of loss. But we came out here. We wanted to show them that this was us. We're going to compete. We're not going to be a cakewalk, and we're going to give it to them. Just talk about the defensive effort today and getting those stops at the end, holding it to a field goal and then, you know, getting a stop on the last drive. Oh, yeah, we balled out. You know, we practice it every week. Coach made some great calls, and we did what we do. We do it every week. We did what we did. You know, growing up, my dad always said, uh, Mike, don't hang around with people. They have nothing to lose. They can be dangerous uh, partners. And really, that's what we were here today. You know, we knew it would have to be a roll of the dice game. And we planned on it. Uh, you know, anticipate those situations and you know when you practice those things and you call them in the game and execute them well, you know, we were able to do that. Uh, it was just a gutsy effort really by a lot of people. That was a pretty good football team. You know, Brendan Metairie was hanging on there at the, in the fourth quarter. He's kind of a beat up guy, but really made, made enough plays for us to win. I think we have to, there's things we got to work on, no question. Uh, we got to shore up some things in that place kicking game. And, you know, certainly from an offensive perspective, we got to get in the red zone and be a little bit more efficient. Uh, but time of possession, we made a pretty good defense, looked pretty tired today. And I'm just proud of my kids. Uh, 
to take a trip like this. This is a great win, not just for Bridgewater. It's a good win for the ODAC. It's kind of some of the wins we need on the outside. So maybe us as a team and then the conference as a group kind of get some respect maybe a little bit on the national level. And then the defense, you know, forces a field goal on you know, goal to go and then gets the stop at the end. That was... I mean, th th there's, it's one of those games you don't come here in this situation and beat this team and not have a lot of people involved. And I just think it's a group win. Like I told the kids out there right after the game, uh, they're kind of like my children. I, I love my children very, always love my children. But the times I was proud of them were really special. And I was proud of the group of guys I brought here with us today.